Well, well, well. Here we go. You know what? No headphones today. What is up, everybody? It's Sauce here with yet another video, and today we are actually going over the results and all the uh, reactions and everything from WWE Backlash over in France. Uh, if you did not check it out, I am recording this <laughs> late on a uh, Saturday evening, so uh, more than likely won't be posted until uh, the next morning. We just went through good old Backlash. There were, it looks like, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, wow. So there was five matches, right? Uh, we're going to be talking about those here shortly. But first off, let's just talk about for a second how insane insane that crowd was over there in France oh my gosh so I've only been back watching WWE for probably I would say maybe about two or three years but it's only been recently that I've been keeping up with all the PLEs and stuff so like Wrestlemania SummerSlam all that good stuff this was by far the best and biggest crowd reaction that I have seen you literally could not even hear some of the superstars' music being played because of the fact that the crowd was just singing it so much and so loudly. It was just, uh, it was insane. It honestly, it made me wish that I was actually at the event. Like, and it makes me, man, it makes me jealous because the, uh, the event that I've gone to, I went to a Raw uh, a few months back and everything. Actually, plan on going to SmackDown here pretty soon. But whenever I went to the Raw, it <sighs> the crowd was not nearly as loud, rambunctious, and crazy as the French were. Oh my gosh, they kind of, <laughs> in all honesty, they stole the show and they put um, <laughs> they put the U.S. Um, to shame. Like to be completely honest. So, but what did I think of the PLE? Well, stick around to find out what what I give, what rating I give for the PLE. But first off, it started off with an absolute banger. It was the Bloodline versus Randy Orton and Kevin Owens. Um, so it started off really, really solid. Like they didn't even ring the bell before KO and Randy Orton just started going after it and and just attacking the Bloodline. So, of course, they come out and they change it from just a regular tag team match to now a street fight, which, oh my gosh, some of these spots were just amazing. Uh, it was it was insane. It was incredible. Uh, it was a very, very fast-paced, very good start to the uh, PLE. Now, if you watched my other video, I had a prediction. My prediction was that uh, Jacob Fatu was going to show up and help out the bloodline. I already had a feeling that Randy Orton and Kevin Owens were not going to win this one. But, to my surprise, it wasn't actually Jacob Fatu. It was actually, what was his name? Uh, Tonga Loa. It is Tama Tonga's uh, brother. So, Tonga Loa came out and started just wrecking shop. Uh, that was the big surprise of the evening. And uh, I was hoping, actually, I was in a live stream, and I was hoping that uh, we were going to get to see maybe uh, the Wyatt Six or maybe Jacob Fatu coming out. But, spoiler alert, he did not actually show up. So it was just Tongaloa. And he was wrecking shop. He did, he did a great job. Um, I'm really excited to see where they take the whole this new bloodline. I'm really, really interested to see that because I think personally that it's going to be incredible. The long storm, uh, long term storytelling in this has just been insane, absolutely insane. I love it so far. Um, moving on. So the the next match was Bailey versus Naomi versus Tiffany Stratton. And let me tell you, that match, I, oh man, there were so many spots that were just botched. Um, I wasn't really, I, I wasn't really feeling any of them, to be honest. 
uh, this was my first time actually getting to really watch uh, Tiffany Stratton. And um, I was basically sold on the fact that she was really, really solid. Now, did she do bad? Not necessarily. But, man, some of these spots were just so bad. Like, they were just bad. Like, let's let's be honest. Um, I actually, uh, I didn't give a rating on the very first match. Um, so, the Bloodline match, I would give that probably a rating of... I'll give the uh, Bloodline match a solid solid uh let's say seven and a half out of ten now this the one with uh bailey and naomi and tiffany so bailey ended up defeating naomi and tiffany and retaining the wwe women's title um i didn't mind that uh, i kind of figured that would happen and kind of like what i said in my predictions Naomi was the one that ended up eating the pin. It was just a very weird, like the, the botches were were not great. Uh, it didn't flow very well, and then the ending was just really, really weird. It was really strange. I was not um, not a super huge fan of it. Um, moving on, we had Damian Priest versus Jey Uso for the WWE World Title, or the World Heavyweight Title, I should say. The thing, man, this was an interesting match. So, as they were coming out and everything, another shout out to France for, oh my gosh, that crowd was insane. They were singing Jey Uso's entrance music, hyping up, man, and <laughs> there were some really good spots in it. But what was crazy about this match is just the fact that... Uh, I was really hoping that Jay was going to end up winning, but Damian Priest ends up defeating him. Now, it wasn't via DQ, which I thought it was going to happen. I thought it was going to be DQ because I didn't think that they were going to have uh, Jay Uso getting pinned, but he got pinned. Uh, it wasn't without help from uh, the Judgment Day, though. And you can start to see the cracks occurring. You can see that Judgment Day is probably going to be at least without Damian Priest here pretty soon. Uh, Damian looked like he was getting very frustrated by the fact that uh, JD McDonough and Finn Balor were, were present and helping because if you guys haven't been following, uh, Damian Priest seems like he's been wanting to, they've been teasing, they've been teasing a face turn for him, um, which Part of the it might be the reason why if they do do a face turn for him, that might be the reason why they end up not um, not giving Jay the title, which that's fine, that's totally fine. But you can start to see the cracks forming. And in all honesty, I think that a Damian Priest versus Finn Balor feud. Oh my gosh, bruh, that would be that'd be insane to me. That'd be awesome. I'd love that. But, yeah, so Damian Priest ends up defeating Jey Uso. There are some pretty good spots in there. Um, I thought that this might have been a match where you would have seen Jacob Fatu come out. Uh, we didn't end up seeing that. That's okay. Uh, <laughs> it seemed like the collective wrestling world was just waiting and hoping and watching to see if, <laughs> if Jacob Fatu was going to come out. But he never did. But, yeah, so that match, I, I would say that that one was definitely... That was a that was a good match. I would say that that one was at least seven and a half, maybe at eight out of ten. Um, I really enjoyed it. I thought that the spots were really good. Uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was a fun. It was a fun match. Now moving on to Jade Cargill and Bianca Belair versus the Kabuki Warriors. Um, it was it was it was a pretty good one. So. Obviously, the very first women's match, it was not great. Uh, it was very sloppy. In this one, what was weird about it is just the fact that uh, <laughs> there was a few moments of like confusion and miscommunication because I guess they the the women may have missed a spot or something. But there was a question as to who was the legal person, and it was just that. It was, it was a good match for the most part, except for like 20 to 30 seconds. Those 20 to 30 seconds were just really weird. Uh, it just didn't flow very well. But 
my god jade cargill and bianca belair they looked great they looked powerful uh they ended up winning they ended up uh defeating them and getting the uh wwe women's tag team titles so um i that was the only that was going to be the only championship that i thought was going to change hands it ended up doing that so we're gonna have to wait a little while to see if there's gonna be a possible uh, turn, a heel turn for Jade Cargill. But I really, 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 really hope that they keep the titles on Jade and Bianca for a while, a little while. Because man, seeing them in the ring is just incredible. Because they're just two powerhouses, and that finish was incredible. The finish was awesome. Um, it definitely showed off the the power that Jade Cargill has. She seems like she's still a little bit, mm, a little bit green, but she makes it work. All right, so now we get to the main event: uh, Cody Rhodes versus AJ Styles for the WWE title. Um, obviously, Cody Rhodes ended up winning. Uh, it was a really good match, really, really good match. I would say that it was probably about an. I I said in a chat that it was an eight and a half out of ten. It was a banger. Um, there were definitely, I mean, everybody pretty much knew that they were not going to take the title off of Cody just yet. So everybody kind of knew that Cody was going to be ended up on top. But they put on some awesome, awesome spots. Um, it was, I mean, I already figured because AJ Styles is amazing. Uh, he's going to be a Hall of Famer. Uh, Cody Rhodes, he's he's really good. So. I already knew that it was going to be a banger of a match, but my goodness, it was it was great. And I think the underlying factor for all of these matches, all these matches, the underlying factor was just the fact that the that France they brought it. That crowd was incredible. The crowd, coupled with the in ring abilities, was just mm, it was spot on. It was it was amazing. I honestly I couldn't have asked for a better uh, PLE. Uh, I thought it was a really good one. Um, there's really not much to say about the Cody Rhodes AJ Styles match except for the fact that uh, they made Cody look really good. They they still managed to make AJ look really good as well. Um, it was just a really really good match. Um, I really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. Um, So now my overall thoughts on the PLE. So out of out of ten, I would probably give the PLE probably about man. I would I would say match wise, I would say about a seven seven and a half out of ten. But because of the crowd, I'm gonna go ahead and give it an eight. Uh, the crowd was incredible, and I really I could see because of the crowd. I could see them pushing to be able to put like maybe at some point a, a bigger PLE or like a WrestleMania or something. I could see them doing that over there. Um, they that crowd was just incredible, and it's amazing because sometimes you don't really realize how how much the crowd affects it uh, until you actually see a bad crowd and then a good crowd. And this was an incredible crowd, so uh, it was man it was awesome but but yeah now i really enjoyed it um part of the reason why i also really enjoyed it was just because i i really enjoyed the early ple's uh this one was it started at 11 a.m for for me so um it was done by three in the afternoon it was it was awesome um i still had the rest of the day to kind of do what i do what i needed to and still get to enjoy some really good wrestling so um, let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below. I would love to be able to interact with you guys and figure out what your thoughts were on it. Um, I thought it was an awesome PLE. Um, I, I can't wait for the next one and I'll probably continue to put these out. Um, these little recaps after, after watching the PLEs and I might even go live for, for a few of them or something. I don't know. Uh, we'll see what happens moving forward, but Regardless, everybody that has been checking out my content and coming to the channel and everything, I definitely super appreciate it. Um, this was kind of a pivot that I didn't know was going to actually happen super soon, but I'm glad that I'm doing it. This is something I really enjoy. I'm really passionate about. Granted, I've only been back for 
three years now watching pretty consistently so uh bear with me but i'm i'm having a blast so uh if you like what you see make sure you drop a like comment down below hit that subscribe button hit that bell for post notifications i'm gonna be hopefully putting out more and more content coming soon but with that being said we'll catch you guys in the next one thanks so much for watching